Hello, folks. Welcome back. We're on Grim Soul, and we're going to try something today. Um, I've seen this on one of uh, another YouTuber's channels. Uh, his name is Black Neum Red. So shout out to Black Neum. He has helped me with a lot of stuff in the past uh, with the game and advice and tips and tricks. So definitely check him out um if you're looking for some tips and tricks so the what we're going to try today is doing and let me stop for a second i do not know if blacknium is the originator of this trick i just know i saw it on his channel so um i'm not going to give credit for the what we're going to try today to black Noom. it could be his he may have gotten it from somebody else uh through discord or whatever it might be but again i saw it on his channel so i'm going to give it a try and it's a way to do the treasure of the damned with um very little stuff i actually want to see if i can't grab a few extra because i don't know if i'm going to have enough uh, well, there's one there. So as you saw, I grabbed a scroll of terror. Okay, I'll grab those. And that will give me 17. I think we should have enough to do this. I did bring a big weapon just in case. I had some healing supplies. But this is a way to do treasure of the damned. That is a lot more efficient in terms of weaponry and armor and uh, healing supplies so I haven't practiced this this is my first time trying it so we're gonna get into it and hopefully have a, 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 oh my god I can't speak have a successful run um, I don't like I said I don't know what to expect I haven't tried it yet I've watched it and it's it looks easy enough but we know with this game that nothing is ever easy oh excuse me so what we want to do as usual is activate the waves <clears throat> excuse me now we're not going to necessarily fight any of these except for the faster people so Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I gotta watch where I'm going here. So, like, the dams, um, dire wolves, wolves, those are the ones that we are going to want to fight. Other than that, we are just going to want to run around and not take too much damage from the little guys. Let her pup help us as well. Just kind of, like I said, take care of the faster people. Because those are the ones that we're going to have to worry about mostly. And get to wave number four. We just keep... Oh, so many secrets hidden in books. I haven't gotten a good book in a while. So we got the next wave. Oh, ooh, ooh, like I said, we need to avoid the slow peoples. And take out the fast ones. We're not going to worry about the night. We just want to make sure that we also keep everybody grouped up. Oh, let's get a little bit of a heal in there. And we... Alright. So the last wave. Do I have any volume? On? Yeah, I got volume. Is going to be one with the merchant. Here it goes. So we want to find our merchant, right? There, oh, that's a dire wolf. So we'll give him a smack on the way by. Let him catch up to us. And just keep smacking the fast ones like that. And try to kind of group all these people up together. We should have, oh, we got one more wave to go. So we'll just keep running these people around. Oh no no, oh jeez. Almost got myself caught. Oh. Alright, where's our merchant? Let's, here we go. 
This will be the next one. There he is. So we're going to fight this guy a little bit. Run. Heal up. And just kind of get away from everybody else. So we've got our Dire Wolf. That's going to help us. Let's get out of there. Heal up. Watch out for the stones. And then just keep fighting this guy. Run. Or we will use a heavy strike right here. Heal up now. Unfortunately, oh my, my pupper is a lot on the tired side. Okay. Now I want to get this guy way away from everybody else now. I'll go way up here. Finish him off. Ooh, I almost died. Okay. Now we're gonna go back around a whole other time. We actually might be able to do this. I'm kind of surprised. I usually, uh, okay, no, sorry. I'm gonna stop talking because at this point in time, we have only done the first part. Now, we gotta go get the key and his weapon. Take all that. No, 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 I wanna take it. And let's get out of Dodge and run to the chest and frighten a whole bunch of people no okay hmm all right i'm not quite sure how we're gonna have to do this let's get everybody up into this corner and get back over to the chest real quickly we might just have to do a whole bunch okay there's the first wave another wave another wave and another wave so everybody's running away oh, oh we got it so people are gonna start coming back we're gonna get rid of them we're gonna take all and we're gonna get out of dodge oh my god we actually did it oh yeah baby so that, oh, I'm just going to run around a little bit. So that is how you can do the Treasure of the Damned basically as efficiently as possible. Now, I wasn't sure on exactly how to do or use the Scroll of Terrors, but I think you probably need four or five minimum, and then it's done. And we got ourselves four oats oh yeah baby um a pretty good scimitar a pretty good falcon uh eh, flange mace not so great uh what else do we get those oh, eight bitter tinctures seven thick cloth yeah so just to recap you basically go around you only kill dams wolves and dire wolves and then the merchant, once you've killed the merchant, you grab his key and his weapon, you go to the chest, you start opening the chest. As the enemies start approaching, you just hit the uh, scroll of terrors until they all go away. And then you get to open up the chest. Holy cow, that's actually easier than I thought. Um... And I mean, what do we use? We used a little over half of a flange or a morning star. I'm impressed. Um, again, I'm going to thank Black Name Red for posting on his channel uh, this uh, this little trick. Again, I don't know where it originates from. Okay, I don't know who came up with this or who thought of this. But we just did the Treasure of the Damned with two-thirds of our armor left and just under half of one Morning Star. Now, I used up a few extra Scroll of Terrors just because I wasn't sure how it worked. But we kind of figured it out. And that's the easiest I've ever done that event doing it this way i will definitely recommend 
doing Treasure of the Damned. Uh, in the past, I usually shied away and told people to shy away from this because it really wasn't worth two sets of armors, uh, two very good weapons. But this way, yeah, go ahead and do it. This is definitely worthwhile. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about that tip or trick or easy way of doing the uh, the Treasure of the Damned. I'm actually impressed, um, and I am going to continue doing this. So, folks, a quick one today. Um, again, I, I'm I'm just I got a big smile on my face. This was easier than I thought. So, with that said, I'm going to wish you all a great rest of the day morning or evening, wherever you are. Take care.